I just gotta get the cheese, hey, I need me the cheese, then I'm out. What is up traders? It is the one and only Alphamo speaking and I'm back again with another video. If it is your first time in the channel, you are welcome into the channel. Please make sure that you do hit the subscribe button, you do hit the like button and as well turn on notifications so that you get notified when I drop another video. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for the continuous support and continuously showing up into the channel. So on today's video guys, I want to teach you how you can actually master the art of entries because a lot of people they know how to analyze, but when it comes to uh, obviously entries, they enter too late or they enter too early. So I just want to cover that one up so that you guys can master the art of entries. So without further ado, let's get into this video, guys. So first thing, obviously, when you get into the market, we're going to start with the analysis part of which I best believe that almost each and every one or most of you guys do know by now. If you've been watching my videos, how to analyze, I'm pretty sure that you are familiar with that. So obviously, if you start from a bigger time frame, the first thing that we have to identify for ourselves is the lowest market turning point and the highest market turning point. Then from that point, we can be able to obviously uh, determine the trend of the market or we can be able to determine the market structure. So we are just going to start from the market low that we have for ourselves, of which is this one. Then now we go to the market high of which is this one. So as you can see for yourselves, markets are currently ranging. But obviously, if you look at the strength or look at the dominating trend within the range, it's obviously markets being bullish or markets pushing to the upper part of the market. Because obviously, if I can start here and highlight my low, highlight my low, it goes up and up and up, of which now really shows that there might be strength towards markets pushing to the upper part of the market. So right now, we obviously have to come into the markets, highlight all the market lows that we see, and also to highlight the market highs that we're going to be seeing in the market as well. These are all the levels, the turning point. Uh, we have the highs, we have the lows. So we're just going to highlight all of that or we need to highlight all of that so that we can obviously be in line with what to do next, right? So this is what we are actually having. And here's another one here, which is a low that we can also highlight for ourselves. And we do have another one here so this is what actually the markets are currently looking like here so if you zoom in a bit you will see that these are the levels that we have then from that point on obviously we just come here and put a highlighter so that we do know that when we switch to the smallest time frame we definitely know that these are our major levels that we did highlight for ourselves from the bigger time frames and we can be able to obviously acknowledge these levels and keep an eye on them right so this is it uh, let's look for the other ones also highlight them so that no level gets left behind actually so there you have it uh, we have another one here and another one here so I guess this is the last one. So with us right now having this, we could definitely see that obviously, like I said, that markets are moving in the form of a range. But now obviously within this range, we have to see that which side is actually dominating. Is it the uptrending market or is it the downtrending market structure? And after that, we're able to actually get to see that from that point on, I best believe that we'll be able to see the market direction in the long run where the markets headed to in a long run. So right now you do see for yourself that right here, we have this uh, of which is a third touch that we did have for ourselves right here. And we also have this one here at the top so looking at the market uh in the perspective of this trend you can see that markets are trying to form a downtrending market structure but now looking at the markets in a form of levels we can definitely see that markets have struck markets have strength to further push to the upper part of the market so right now with us having this we obviously have to come into a conclusion that which side are we actually going to be looking out for and why right so i'm just gonna zoom in a bit for you guys right here so if we zoom in a bit 
you can definitely see that markets now are ranging within this support area and this resistant area of which this is the support and this one is the resistant so we can zoom in a bit as well to see clearer what is it that could actually happen so looking at the top markets have been rejecting this area of support for the longest time of which now i best believe that this is a very strong holding level in the market and should this area be able to break above then we'll confidently take buys and move with the markets to the upper part of the market and that's simply because market would have broken out of structure and broken out of this trend that was holding for the longest time if we can zoom out a bit you can see that obviously markets have been moving inside of this trend but now at the very same time there are two scenarios that could possibly happen here of which the first one would be that markets would just come here right uh, play along here as well then from that point on fall all the way to this level that we do have for ourselves here so now the second scenario would be that market could break above obviously come back to give us a retest then after that retest we could expect the markets to further push all the way to the upper part of the market so now if there's something that actually a lot of people are failing to do in the market is that now they've analyzed and they know that there could be two scenarios happening in the market but now they fail to know the right time to enter and obviously that leads them to be tempted to take uh, entries too early for an example like here wonder if say that markets are on uh, resistant so now i'm supposed to sell the markets all the way to support and one would say that after markets tapped into this area markets have been consolidating meaning that markets could for the push up and then that person takes a buy here so now we obviously have to clear that confusion when it comes to that so the only way for us to do that is if we were able to switch to a smaller time frame of which is my 15 minutes time frame where we're going to be looking at entry triggers and exit triggers and most importantly knowing where to plot our stop losses and obviously knowing where to break even and also be able to identify our area of take profit so now we are here on the 15 minutes time frame and i best believe that now this is where we're actually going to get a clearer view on what to actually do and what not to do in the market right so as you can see for yourself that in the bottom side we only have markets coming to tap two times of which we had two market lows that were respected then from that point on markets just pushed to the upside so now coming to the resistant part you can definitely see that markets have been tapping into the area of resistance countless times as compared to the area of what of support so now as the markets tapped more into the area of resistant and obviously only tapped few times into the area of support that means that markets have been trying to push up but markets have been getting resisted and markets further pushed down but as markets were pushing down it only gave us one area of retest of which after that area of retest has been respected markets were failing to obviously break the current low that we do have for ourselves in the 15 minutes time frame of which is this one so now that to me really means that the bulls might be in control and might be in power because if you can look from the first ever market high whilst the markets were pushing to the upper part of the markets obviously you can see this one was broken this one was broken this one was broken and here this one was broken and the current ones are also broken by these candlesticks here and obviously if you can zoom in a bit for yourselves you can definitely see that there's an area of what there's an area of demand here of which the markets did print for us previously so this is it right there and obviously markets tapped into the area after that gave us a couple of rejections about two of them now the current candle is obviously showing aggressiveness further pushing to the upper part of the market so now this is our first confirmation and now obviously should the markets be able to break this high here then from that point on we'll definitely know that chances of the markets further pushing into the next uh, zone in the market of which we highlighted for ourselves on the one hour time frame are very high because now we had our first confirmation and we also saw how the highs have been previously getting violated now and then and now we're looking at the aggressiveness of this current candle should it close aggressively like this and we also have the second candlestick 
closing aggressively then we're going to consider buying the market all the way to this level here so now what's key is obviously to be able to scale the market from a bigger time frame or a bigger perspective going down with it and after you reach your smallest time frame you have to pay attention to whether the market did print for you a demand or a supply level after that demand and supply have been printed you have to pay attention to price action how are the candlesticks approaching that certain supply or how are the candlestick approaching that level of demand if the candlestick are gonna approach whether the supply or demand aggressively then now you have to know that chances of that supply or demand being broken are very high because the markets are coming in aggressively so they could just uh, break free and obviously continue whether it be buying or selling so what you need after all the supply and demand have been printed you need at least a minimum of two candlesticks uh, obviously closing above after tapping into your area of supply and demand so let me break it down if the markets are approaching that area of demand markets should tap into that demand then you need to at least have a minimum of two candlesticks that are going to be rejecting uh, from that demand and if the markets are approaching an area of supply we need a minimum of two candlesticks obviously closing below that area of supply and we gotta have a minimum of two uh, market rejections so should should a rejection be only one then markets are most likely to come and violate that area of supply or area of demand so the candlestick confirmations also play a very huge role so you have to just familiarize yourself with the market's behavior then from that point on i best believe that you can champion any scenario when it comes to entries within the financial markets so this is what i had for you guys today as you know me that i like to keep things simple and that's simply because simplicity is the best sophistication and i hope you did gain skill from watching this video if you did do drop a comment do like the video subscribe do turn on notifications until next time